Count yourself blessed. If you are still here and you have your family members still here, nobody passed away, thank you, Jesus. I'm not going to knock on wood, but I'm just going to give God his praise and honor that he deserves for keeping us. This is Mama Love, and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back, welcome back. Reba's back. Reba's back. So I'm back to tell y'all about my surgery and how it went and how God healed me along the way. He's healing me in advance. He's healing me. He went before me. He went after me. He just went with me. Okay, y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all about the surgery. I got some few clips in there that I want to show y'all. So um, it might be a little graphic for some of y'all, but y'all ain't supposed to be no kids up on here. So you know what I'm saying? If you ain't gonna be able to watch it, don't watch it. Okay? But I'm gonna put some clips in of how everything went. But I am hungry. I ain't ate nothing today, and um, I had went and got me this new y'all Beyond Fried Chicken made from plant based. Yes. And I'm trying it, you all, with the different sauces. This is gonna be my first time trying it. Put my water, just in case I, uh, uh, you know, have a problem with it. I have to wash it down real quick. I also know that I, I am on a Daniel's 21-day fast. Um, this is going to be the ninth day into the month. However, uh, my Daniel's fast is a little bit different because of the simple fact that um, confirmation. Uh, if I'm already a plant-based person, I'm already vegan, so really it was no type of sacrifice for me. So my cutoff is at eight o'clock. When you're on a Daniel's fast, there's no cutoff time when you're eating like fruits and vegetables and things like that. But since I am on a plant-based diet already, um, it's not gonna uh, be a sacrifice for me to just be like in the middle of the night, oh, if I'm hungry, oh, I need my pineapples or I want my, you know, my, my my spinach and my kale and to go fix me some I just can't so it's not really no sacrifice so I had to cut it off at 8 o'clock and my fast is a little different even though it is still a Daniel's fast today is something that I am trying because it just came out and I wanted to make sure that uh I know I tried it because they're called ghetto vegans I'll be watching their videos and they tried these for the first time and it looked so good you know he said it was a little bit rough and tough as he was biting at them, but they were good. This is how they look, you all. This is the texture of them. And I guess it's made like plant-based with soy. I'm not sure, but we gonna get into this video, y'all. And um, hopefully, I'm gonna be satisfied, okay? So we gonna just start out with a, Lord God, we ask that you bless this food. Let it be nourishing to our bodies, Lord God. Cleanse it from any impurities we ask. We ask in Jesus' name, I pray. Smell good. How it look on the inside. It's good. What is this? It's not as tough. It's not as tough as that. Well, they said it was tough, but that's how the meat look. I don't know if you can see it. Oh my God. This is good. Let me drop them in this stuff. Okay. I got me some chicken. I got some chicken, y'all. Okay. Okay, as you start to bite into them, they do a, a little tough, but these is good. Oh my goodness. That, that one was tough, okay. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Okay. These are good, y'all. Yeah. Anyway, I'm getting back to I put a fry with it, y'all, just in case, because I hadn't eaten anything all day. I just left and went and got my nails done. I was in the nail shop for two hours. It usually don't happen that way, but it was crowded today, and when she got done polishing my nails, I looked at the shape of them and they were too kind of bulky up in here and I'm like no you got to flatten that down I, don't, I said my I have very small fingers and you got them all looking like light bulbs at the bottom I said you got to do do something different so 
Of course, I had to sit in another chair while she take them down. I'll have another guy took them down, and I'm satisfied with them. So that's how they turned out. I got a darker color this time. I mean, lighter color this time. Anywho, y'all, talking about my surgery. Um, I know I talked about it on the live when I came in, but I'm talking about y'all. I'm talking about the progress as far as now. I just got up this morning, y'all, just thanking and praising the Lord all day long for what he has done for me. I just feel like myself again. I feel like I'm back. I feel like I got, I mean, I just got up, got dressed and was like, I'm going to get my nails done. Usually I'm, I'm in the room. I ain't been nowhere. You know, I'm asking the kids, um, go grab me this or I'm going to send you to uh, this restaurant or this store to go get me something to eat, you know, because I was in that much pain where, you know, I just wasn't mobile, you know. And here it is, I think the fourth day into the surgery. Yeah, because it was Monday. And um, I'm just like, went to the doctor yesterday. She took off the wrap, the bandage or whatever, and it's healing so beautiful. Um, I'm going to put the clips in there as well, insert the clip of how it's looking. No infection whatsoever because she was on top of her game. I mean, she sent me out with... Keflex, which is uh, kills any type of infection. So just in case that happened, that was already under the, uh, you know, the mic, or whatever. If I could say it like that. Mm, hold up. Now, she was making sure. She was making sure that I was covered all the way around, and she sent me home with some medicine for constipation but i really didn't take it you know but i knew what it was for now it was for the narcos which i really didn't take that much it didn't last that long because i'm finding out that i am um a, a, a sorry uh, effect of uh narcos it gave me a real bad headache which it was a bad in the back and in the front and so i was like you know it could be a sinus infection but no nah, that usually don't happen i usually don't have migraine headaches so that and I just knew something wasn't right, you know. So I was like, okay, first off top. So I was like, let me stop taking these narcos because I wasn't feeling like this before I was taking them. So I left them alone, of course. And after two or three days, the headache went away. Thank you, Jesus. I'm so glad for that. I'm just feeling so good because I'm feeling so normal again, you know. Feeling like myself. And when I was getting my nails done today, um, I was getting up off the, off the chair. And usually it's great pain, you know, when I'm getting my nails, you know, whatever I sit for a long period of time. Um, it's usually like great pain when I got it wasn't no pain y'all I didn't even I didn't even have to use that cane You know, and I know I don't want to overdo it and over push it, you know But you know, I was like if I don't need it. I don't need it I'm just gonna walk extra careful, you know and how I feel my mobility coming back in my leg, you know and my ankle part I'm just so happy how God is He's awesome. I know that he sent me to dr. Janet Arushi Arushi Aru Arushi Arushi Arriba, Arushi and I know he sent me to her. I know he did, you know, because I, like I said, what took six months from St. Joseph only took, you know, just one visit with her, which was the MRI. And I'm so grateful because the pinpointed, to see what it was, it looked like a, you know, the top of a chicken gristle, the bottom of the leg, it looked like the gristle bone that was in there was just taking up space, you all. It didn't even make no sense to even be there, but. Um, well circumscribed, very vascular, soft tissue mass here that we're going to sense a pathology that's occupying space and if they're not with like a rheumatoid nodule at all we're taking out plenty of this all right thank you Good news was it was not cancerous and it came back it wasn't that PNV it wasn't that PVNS which was called I'm not even going to pronounce that that long word uh, but it was a rheumatoid nodule. That's what it was. And it took place because of the simple fact that um, St. Joseph made me wait so long. Had it got this um, when it first started, when I went to them in June, it wouldn't have gotten this far. But they made me wait that long and, you know, just messing around saying, well, we don't want to wait for an MRI. We just want to, you know, you just want to x-ray it. You just want to do test blood, you know, I mean, uh, blood work. You just, you just want to do ultrasounds. And you just wanted to do aspirations. But you gave me everything what I needed, you know. And they don't know I ain't with them no more. I left them. They gone. So, um, this wouldn't have happened. And, um, my doctor that did the surgery, my podiatrist, she looked at me and was like, this did not come overnight. This had to take some time, you know, just didn't come overnight. However, I will say this. She said, it's all rheumatoid. 
When she called me, she said, it's good news. I said, yeah, she said, it's all rheumatoid. I said, how is that good news? You know, but it's not the kind where it's aggressive. It's under, you know, where I'm, I'm you know, under, it's under control. It's not that far where um, it progressed into stages, you know, but she said for it to do this to your left leg, she was like, I need for you not to stress anymore. So I said, what are you telling me? She was like, due to stress, she was like, that's what happened to your leg. You cannot get stressed. You will have a rheumatoid flare. You don't want to have another flare up. So I'm sending you to a rheumatologist, she said, that I um, approve of and that is going to get you taken care of. Now I know that you're on a plant-based diet, but when you're on a plant-based diet, the, the body does repair itself, but it's going to take some time. It goes a little slower when we're doing the body natural. She said, but until then, I don't need your bones to degenerate. I don't need them to be infected or, or, or anything taking place because your bones are fine now. We don't want anything else happening. So I would like for you to be on medications. Um, you know, just get a good medication uh, with the rheumatologist where it'll put this into remission and it will just, you just won't have this problem. She also gave me some injection, uh, uh, steroid injections in the back of my foot and on the side of my ankle. And um, I'm just feeling real good. You know, I'm just, I'm just feeling good. And um, she said you can, you allowed to get those like three times. But I remember I had um, a shot in my um, uh, right, in my right knee. I was able to get those shots three times. But I remember that first shot that they gave me, an injection in my um, uh, knee. I didn't have to have it no more. So hopefully it'd be like this, you know. Um, and you know, the, just the pain. It's, it's a burning sensation. Um, the last three days, she said it would be that throbbing, burning pain. I, I expected it to be more greater than what she said, but it pain wasn't all that bad. I'm surviving off of extra strength Tylenol. Um, excuse me. Because they said that when they sent me home that they was going to send me on the highest dose of pain medication. I was like, oh my God, this thing must going to really hurt, you know. But it didn't, you know. And once I found the narcos was kind of making me, you know, with a headache and making me dizzy and just having me feeling drugged out and sedated. I don't like that feeling. I don't like to feel, you know, drugged up, you know. So, um, it took a couple of days to get that out of my system. I'm back feeling good again. I'm just so grateful. I was just, just praising the Lord while I was sitting there getting my nails done. And then my, my spirit, I was just sitting there just saying, Lord, I thank you for healing me. I thank you for, you know, working it out. It may not be the way that you want it. You know, we think and expect like the instant healing, like he, Oh, in the name of Jesus, be healed from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet and you're healed. It may not have taken place like that, but I saw God work. I saw him do it. I know that he's done it and I praise God for him. I praise God that he is not in a box, that he can do a uh, healing in supernatural ways and ways that we don't even expect, you know, and, um, he does it in his timing and he does it in his way. And I'm glad for the timing that I went through went through this because it showed me a lot of things in the time that I was down. It showed me who's going to be there for you. It showed me who's not going to be there for you. It showed me attitudes. Um, it, 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 he showed me a lot of things. And then, and then this season, I know that also, um, that this is my season. He, he also let me know that weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. And I know that my morning is here. I know that my weeping is over. And the Lord said that he was going to teach me how to serve him in rejoicing, serve him in gladness, serve him in happiness, instead of all the time serving him in pain, serving him in weakness, serving him in, in um, frustration. Because I've been through that. You know, each time I get on prayer life, I told y'all, uh, I said, I pray. And a lot of times, even though I'm praying, I was praying in pain, but I kept being consistent. I kept not giving up. I kept not letting God down because it was not about me at this point in time. It's never about me. It's always about God and how God has turned around and blessed me. And I just could not wait to share it with you all. It's supposed to be a mukbang. And I'm telling you about it, but at the same time, it gets so good to me. What God has done for me spiritually is so much better than this food naturally. And I'm just so grateful and thankful you all. I'm thankful for the things that he's done. I hope I'm not allergic to any plant-based soy or nothing like that. Wanna try one? I hope I ain't allergic to none of that. That's in it, but. But I ain't queen allergic to soy. You know, queen, but that's not me. So where'd she get it from? Mm -hmm. Maybe her system. 
That's good, y'all. So which sauce should I try first? Uh, any one. No matter. Which one the best? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm gonna try this one. Thankful to have myself back. Mm -hmm. You know? And um Mmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. that I'm thankful to have some chicken without being chicken. Mmm. Not gonna be every day though, cause they, they call this vegan junk food. And I'm not gonna be doing this. But it's I was out. Fun. I got my nails done, and I figure let me just grab this, go home, and do a video, and that's what I'm doing. And but anyway, like I said, I don't want to make this no long, drawn out video. But just the, just the grace and mercy of God, you all, just having that faith and holding on. Because I used to speak it, even though I was in pain, I would say, let me get my healed self up from here. Let me get my heels up and go in here and do this with my heels so you know just speaking it just calling it you know and i knew i was healed but like i said i just had the symptoms you know and, and when i went into surgery how i didn't even know i was out i, I was kind of afraid of going under because i've never been under before but just going out you know what i'm saying that was a blessing because he showed me some things there it was like you know that fear of the unknowing you know what i'm saying it's like i'm past that um I just realized that, you know what, when a person leave here and by death, they don't even know they gone. They don't even know they gone until that white getting up day, that, that white throne of judgment until you, you on um, judgment day. Yeah, you gonna know you awake then. But when a person leaves here, they don't even realize they exist. I didn't know I existed until I woke up. Let's put it like that. But it's something how even that, you know, settled a lot of things in me because a lot of things I had been through in my life, um, I, I just had a constant you know, fear and, and what if this and what if that and how God, you know, binded up that spirit in me. You know, that what if spirit, you know, to know that walk with God fully, that God got you, that you're going to be all right along the way. That if you keep believing and trusting in him, that you, if you believe on his word and you trust in him, he will help you. He will cover you. And that's just what he has done. And I'm so grateful for it. Um, like I said, this is just slight, just a little slight pain. Um, and it's just only from the incision. But when I stand up, y'all, it just feels like my other foot. Again, it just feels like in my right foot. I just feel so normal. I'm so grateful. And I'm so thankful unto God. Y'all keep pressing. Keep pressing and keep praying. I don't care how it looks. The enemy tell me so many times you're up here praying and praying for other people. And you praying, you know, but you're still in pain. Where's your God? At? Right here. He, he, he come. He may not come when I didn't want him, when, when, when I wanted him to, but he came just in time. I'm sitting right here, and, and, and I'm still serving the Lord, and I'm still going to pray, and I'm not praying in pain. Tomorrow is prayer life, Saturday. I will not, I will not be praying in pain, but I'm praying in my healing. Hallelujah. And I can tell others, see, this is why we go through the things that we go through. So I am now, and I am now a testimony. I went through my test, and I passed it. Now I am crossed over to a testimony. Now I'm able to tell you all that God will do it. God can do it. He has brought me through it. And he's going to bring you through it as well. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Like I said, I will insert the clips. And these are good. Go try them. Beyond fried chicken made from plants. Be blessed. In Jesus' name. Well, circumscribed very vascular soft tissue mass here that we're going to sense a pathology that's occupying space and if they're not with like rheumatoid nodule at all I've taken out plenty of this all right thank you